In this video, we're going to go through an additional example of the double declining balance over more periods just so that you have more material to review in the process. We determine the straight line rate, which is one over the useful life of the asset. We determine the acceleration factor, which in double declining will be two. The depreciation rate equals straight line rate times the acceleration factor. So how much do we depreciate? Whatever the straight line rate is times the acceleration factor. That's the rate we're going to depreciate on the de double declining balance. And then the depreciation expense is the net book value times the depreciation rate. The net book value is whatever uh, the book value is, net the accumulated depreciation. We also discontinue depreciation when the net book value equals the salvage value. We no longer uh, depreciate after that point. And so we're going to go through an example really quick. The annual depreciation expense doing the double declining balance, you know, this is another way to formulate what we've just talked about above, cost minus accumulated depreciation over the estimated useful life times two. As an example, we have uh, an asset cost of $11,000 and the estimated salvage value is $1,000. The estimated useful life is five years and the uh, acceleration factor is two. Well, let's go through how we do this. In year one, we'd have 11,000 minus zero accumulated depreciation. And we'd say, okay, that over five years uh, times two equals 4,400 in depreciation expense. In year two, we have 11,000 minus the 4,400 from the prior period's accumulated depreciation. And that would be, uh, the net of that would be divided by five multiplied by two to get to 2,640 in depreciation expense. In year three, we'd add the prior depreciation, the accumulated depreciation of 4,400, 2,640. We'd add those together and we'd get $7,040 in accumulated depreciation. We take $11,000, our original price, minus the accumulated depreciation divided by five times two, and we get $1,584 in depreciation expense. In year four, we have a, uh, 11,000 minus the total accumulated appreciation for prior periods, which is 1,584 from the, the period before, the 2,640 from the year before that, and 4,400 from the first year. Some of you might be sitting there thinking, well, is he just adding up depreciation expense? Yeah, because the other side of that entry is the accumulated depreciation. Each year, depreciation expense goes on the income statement, gets netted against our income, and then it's gone, but the accumulated depreciation builds a balance over time. So you just add up the depreciation expense related to this asset over time and you get what your accumulated depreciation is. And in this case, it's $8,624. Year five, we have a five year life on this thing. In year five, if we do the same thing, we have 950 plus 1,584 plus 2,640 plus 4,400, we get a total of 9,574, but we net that against $11,000 divided by five times two, and we get the depreciation expense of 570. But we have a problem. What's our problem? Is that where are we related to the salvage value? Turns out in this last year in double declining balance, we always end up with a plug of some sort. And when I say a plug, we always have to plug for the last value amount. All right, so the beginning year NAV is 11,000, uh, $11,000 net the 9574 but remember we had this salvage value, right? The salvage value of this is $1,000. So instead of depreciating 570 the total net the salvage, right, uh, it, before we started the year was 1426 Recall that the beginning NAV at the start of the year is 1426 when we add these all up. Well, if we depreciate a total of $570, we're going to be below the salvage value. The salvage value is $1,000. We can't do that. It's not allowed. And so in that last year, our depreciation expense is going to be $426, uh, $426 is our depreciation expense. So we depreciate down to the salvage value and we leave it there. So that's another example of double declining balance. This is another way to just show each point of entry associated with the purchase, depreciation expense, and accumulated depreciation, if you need to go through it looking at this based on the, the formula on the prior page. And that's uh, double, another example of double declining balance. And uh, thanks for coming to class.